Hey everyone, um, going to do a quick walk around video of this motorcycle trailer that I am putting up on Craigslist for sale this evening. Um, I bought this out at an auction in Tampa, Tampa Machinery I believe it was. It was a ditch witch trailer owned by the city of Clearwater. And they made it, they fabricated this trailer homemade in their shop. Um, so if you are looking to buy this trailer, and basically what I'm doing, my intention was to fix it up, paint it, run it back out to the auction and sell it. Um, but as I got into this trailer, I realized how well built this thing was. And I thought maybe somebody on Craigslist would have an interest. Um, this is a bill of sale only trailer, which means that because the city of Clearwater made it in their shop and they used it to transport a ditch witch around to do whatever work the city of Clearwater needed to do. So what that means to you is if you buy this trailer, it's a bill of sale only, which means you're going to have to get a weight slip and then you're going to have to get it registered as homemade. Not a big deal. You can go on, go online, Google it, and it's not a huge ordeal to get it done that way, but you're going to have to register it as homemade. It does not have a VIN. It does not have a title. Um, again, I bought it at auction last month from either Royal or Tampa Machinery, I can't remember. And, uh, and uh, super nice trailer though. As I started getting into it, I realized this might be something that somebody on Craigslist would be uh, interested to have for their motorcycles. Um, so anyway, that's what I'm doing. The intention is I'm going to put it on Craigslist for probably three weeks. And um, somewhere around the third week in, in June, I will take this down to back down to Tampa Machinery or Royal, whoever I bought it from. I can't remember. I got to look up the paperwork and resell it at auction. It'll probably go for somewhere between $2,500 and $3,000 3, $3, at auction. But again, I've rarely ever seen a trailer this well made. So I figured I'd throw it out there. If somebody has an interest, give me a shout. And you can come out, take a look at it, what have you. So the it's got a diamond plate deck, six foot ramps, which is the reason why I changed it from a ditch witch trailer into a motorcycle trailer. Um, I put two wheel chocks in the front. So if you have a couple of bikes, you're looking for a solid, really super solid trailer, this might be the one for you. The six foot ramps are nice because you don't have much of an angle as you're getting into the trailer itself. You can pull right up in there. It's got a 5,000 pound axle, so I don't care what kind of bike you're riding, it, it will handle whatever you need. Um, let me give you a quick walk around here. Um, super, super well made. I'm really, really impressed with the city of Clearwater. It's got a panel hitch. Um, I rewired the four pin and put it in wire loom. Um, again, you can buy a panel hitch at, at Rural King or Tractor Supply for about 40 bucks. I know most people have a two inch ball on their truck, but it's not a deal breaker for less than 40 bucks. You can put a panel hitch on your truck. Um, heavy duty safety chains. Um, I wire wheeled this trailer and painted it in Harley orange. My wife did some custom vinyl graphics for it, which I'm going to show you in a minute. I added uh, 11,000 pound D-rings for, for tie-down purposes. And um, if, you, if you're looking for a tandem motorcycle trailer, you're not going to find a better one than this. It's got a hand crank winch, not a battery operated, but if your bike's broke down, it'll get it up in the trailer. Wiring is extra long, just in case your, you know, your, your uh, wiring harness is up underneath the bumper of the truck or something like that. You won't have any problems there. It's got a, a diamond plate metal deck, and I added those two wheel chucks. Um, which is nice. You pull your motorcycle up in them. It locks the front wheel in place. You put some straps on the back and you're ready to go. You're going down the highway. Diamond plate um, fender wells. Got matching Goodyear Endurance tires with 
probably 40 50 percent tread left they're in pretty damn nice shape these are six lug axles it's a 5,000 pound axle probably overkill for a motorcycle trailer but again that's part of the reason i'm throwing it on craigslist because i know there's some guys out there that want something really solid and american made for for their bike and uh I know a lot of the junk you buy at, at the big box stores, a year later it's rust into pieces, and, and this is not the case with this. My wife did the, the custom graphics. And again, six foot ramps, which will make it really super nice. Now listen, um, this is a six by 10 trailer. So if you have a single motorcycle, if you're looking at this trailer and you got one bike you're looking to transport, um, I will, and, I, and I, I'll do this for you as a courtesy, um, I will relocate the wheel chuck into the middle. So basically with a six by 10 trailer, if you're going to put a four, five, six, seven hundred pound motorcycle on one side, it's not going to pull down the road real well. So, um, what I'll do if somebody wants to buy it and they only have one motorcycle, is I'll relocate a wheel shock to the center, and that way it'll be ready, it'll be set up and, and perfectly balanced for one motorcycle. Not a problem. And I'll relocate the D rings as well. It'll take probably an hour and a half to get that done for you. It's got uh, side markers, two side markers on each side, tail, turn, you know, all the normal lighting. They had chains on it. I fabricated these, this angle iron. Um, the way they had it was a little weird. I didn't, I wasn't, didn't care for it too much. So I fabricated this angle iron down the, down the frame rail um, to hold the ramps in place. And I think this is a more solid setup than the way they had it. So anyway, um, that's it. Again, probably third week in June, I will pull this off of Craigslist and take it to auction. And uh, if anybody's interested between now and then, hit me up and you can come out, take a look at it, see if it's right for you. And if not, if you have any questions, hit me up and I'll be happy to answer any questions I, I can. So hope you all have a great day. Thank you so much. And uh, that's it.